This is a story of a little house in town, a 61 T-Bird, and my growth as a photographer. I came across this little house a couple years ago and was talking with the owner. It'd be such a great house to shoot someday if I could think of a good concept. Later, two years or so, I came across this 1961 T-Bird in a local museum and got permission to use it in my little photograph. It was such a great looking car, it's sort of super futuristic retro from the 60s, sort of the idea that in the future we'd all be flying around with jetpacks. My wife and nephew helped me put the shot together, and what I wound up doing is putting this car in the front yard of this house and trying to create a scene which is difficult to describe other than you'll have to see what's coming. Over multiple exposures at night with large flashlights, I would light different parts of the car, the hood, the door, I generally start from the center top and work outward. It's really easy to get confused about what I'm painting with light when, and I often have people spot me after several hundred photographs. It's, it's not unusual to forget that I did or did not shoot something, and I need a second pair of eyes to kind of say, hey, you forgot a piece there or here. What I'll do is I'll try to light every little element in the scene. In this case, the car is critical, so I'll start with the car, then I'll work down to the grass and light different elements. I'll often skim or bounce or reflect. I'm trying to do the lighting that's appropriate for whatever material and subject it is playing with. I also include shadows and details to help people understand what's going on. It's often the case with these photographs. They're somewhat unbelievable to begin with, and I want to make sure it's very clear that it's a car sitting on the ground in the front yard so I very carefully include lots of shadows and crisscross light so it doesn't look too perfect. It looks as natural as it could be for the lighting and scene that I'm creating. I often include little details of colors and lights. I'm trying to almost make a poetic interpretation of the real scene that does, is it, does exist. And in this case, the car and the house did exist for this photograph. The story I have in my mind's eye is the idea of a dad coming home to his wife. Nothing special, nothing fancy. With the inclusion of the rocket ship tricycle and the hula hoops on the ground, I'm implying children. I'm also lighting the inside of the house too to make it look indeed like a normal house where just regular people live. A little bit of sky in the background adds a little depth. Ultimately when I add the guy, I'm very careful to put him into the shot. You can see the first half of the lighting on him and the second half, it really builds up a sense of depth and layering. And it's not by accident that you can see the light on his hand is a little bit bright. We'll get back to that in a second. Secondly, his wife just standing at the front door waiting for him to come home, I think is very charming, and there's a little bit of somewhat dramatic lighting on the ground with shadows. Ultimately, when the photograph is said and done, I think it's very quiet. It's nothing happening special. There's no wild movements or strong actions. It's just a photograph of dad coming home to his wife, and I think it's beautiful in that. When you look a little closer, you can see, as I mentioned before, the lighting on the gentleman's hand, it's a little bit too bright, and it's almost like a magician with misdirection. I like people to look at that part of the photograph and think, hey, that's a little bit too bright, as opposed to thinking, he's not even there to begin with. I'm trying to kind of draw your eye away from what is indeed going on. It's neat when you look really, really close at these digital files. In this case, I'm using a Canon EOS 1 DS Mark II, I believe, for this particular photograph. I upgraded to the Mark III. But you can see the photograph and the file are so sharp, you can actually see the pollen that has fallen off the flowers and touching his jacket. It's so interesting, I think, to zoom in and see stuff like that. That's a photograph of his wife. All these people are volunteers that help me make the photograph. She's one of the gals that works at the company I often work for. The uh, husband in the photograph was her friend. And that's how the photograph came about. 